I'm going back to the Disney College program. Yeah, that's not clickbait. Today, I'm going to the Disney College program for a day because Disney has invited me to tour Flamingo Crossings Village, which is the brand new Disney College program housing, and kind of just see what a day in the life of the DCP is like today. I am so excited because in case you didn't know, I did the Disney College program all the way back in 2018, and it was life changing. I had so much fun. It's how I got my start in social media. It literally helped so many of my biggest dreams come true. So I could not be a bigger advocate for the DCP, but the program has changed a lot since 2018. One of the biggest changes being the brand new housing complex that I've heard nothing but amazing things about. So I'm so excited to tour the complex and see what the DCP is like today and bring you guys along with me. So let's go. Welcome to Flamingo Crossings Village. Pulling up, it looked beautiful from the outside. Way different than what I'm used to. And yes, they had flamingos everywhere to kind of go with the theme of Flamingo Crossings. I think it got the name Flamingo Crossings Village because that was already the name of the street where the complex housing is. So I met up with my tour group at Apprentice Hall and the first thing we saw is this beautiful piece of artwork where apparently all the CPs will take their move-in day photos. So there is this wall that is dedicated to all things Disney College program, especially the old housing complexes. I found the little Chatham area. It has pictures of the housing, pictures of the iconic couches, lanyards and acceptance letters, and just little mementos from the very beginning of the Disney College program all the way up until now. This was so cool to look at and so nostalgic. It's actually weird to me that my Disney College program is now like nostalgic. So then we headed over to the community center, which is essentially like the student lounge. And the artwork here is also beautiful. So this piece is supposed to look like a castle from far away. But then when you get up close, it's actually made of little photos of people from their Disney college program. There's a little help desk if you need anything. There are 24 hour vending machines that have all sorts of snacks. They have this huge TV area where you can sit, watch a movie, charge, relax before and after your shift. There were a lot of CPs over here, so I'm sorry if the angles are kind of off. I didn't want to film anybody. And then they had some more artwork that pays homage to all of the international participants, which I thought was so cool. There's even a coffee bar too. So then we went upstairs, which is where the fitness center is. And oh my gosh, this gym is so nice. And it's included in your rent. There were so many machines. There was a little studio if you want to do like Pilates or like video workouts. And it has a beautiful view of the pool and just of Flamingo Crossings. And then they even had a little balcony that was really cute too. So then after that, we went downstairs and headed over to the package room. Instead of having mailboxes, you'll just get a little QR code if you have a package and then you scan the code and a little locker will open for you. Then it was time to go tour the model apartment. So we headed on over to building one. Each building is actually named after different Disney characters in alphabetical order. Walking in, the apartment was just so beautiful. These apartments are fully furnished, but this one of course was decorated because it's a model apartment. So the actual CP apartments will only come with the furniture and not the decorations. Everything was just so nice and I felt like you could really make it your own. In the bathroom, everybody gets their own sink, the same amount of storage and a little medicine cabinet mirror. I loved that they had Aussie in the shower. I thought that was so cool. So I believe you can have anywhere from two to four people living in an apartment and there will never be more than two people sharing a room. Some apartments you can get your own room but share a bathroom and in other apartments you can get your own room and bathroom. And as far as the rooms go there is a divider dividing the two beds just to provide a little bit of privacy while sharing a room but other than that most of the furniture is movable if you want to shift things around and really make it your own. I loved all the the decorations they had like the friends cookbook or like the salt and pepper shakers I have these same exact ones in my apartment too after we toured the apartment they actually had a special surprise for us hi Judy you look beautiful we got to meet Judy hops I asked her if she was patrolling around Flamingo Crossings and then they handed us this really sweet Disney programs bag where I got a little Disney programs Mickey oh hat gosh, with no the way. tassel. I'm going to cry. Thank you. And just for a moment, I really felt like I was on my Disney college program again. I 
I'm back from my little DCP day in the life and let me just say I had so much fun. Flamingo Crossings Village is stunning. It is so beautiful. The whole time me and my little group were just like in awe of like how cool it was because back in my day we did not have this. It was so cool seeing it. So a huge thank you to Disney for inviting me and go back to my DCP roots for the day. I had so much fun. Also, we got to meet Judy Hopps, which I had no idea was going to be a thing. I was not expecting that. Literally made my day. She was so cute. I was like, are you patrolling around Flamingo Crossing? She's like, absolutely. You know, keep my eye on the CPs. So that was fun. And oh my gosh. I got a little Disney programs hat. Oh man, Flamingo Crossings, it's just, it's beautiful. And although I can no longer do another DCP because I'm graduated and I have my degree and I'm not enrolled in college anymore, you guys still can if you are enrolled in college. And I seriously could not recommend it more. So if you guys have any questions about the DCP, the application process, etc., comment down below and I will do my best to respond to all of your questions and comments. But our little DCP cast member day in the life is not over just yet because because one of my friends, Michaela, is a cast member and she has her cast preview to go see Journey of Water inspired by Moana, the brand new attraction at Epcot. And a huge perk about being a cast member or a CP is that you get to see things at Disney before a lot of the guests get to see them. And you get little cast previews of new attractions and things coming. And not only that, but you can bring guests. And so my friend Michaela was so sweet to invite me to her cast preview of Journey of Water. And it's partly why I wore this like coral little romper because I wanted to dress somewhat inspired by Moana as well, but I also thought it was just a cute romper to tour Flamingo Crossings. But I also brought these little clips. So I'm gonna put them in my hair. To be honest, I don't know if I like them. I don't know if I really love this little hairstyle, but we're gonna try it out. I might have to fix it when I get there because I can't really tell what it looks like, but Am I giving Moana vibes-ish? Now I'm going to put on the Moana soundtrack and let's see how far Epcot is from Flamingo Crossings. Pretend like I'm driving from my little CP housing complex. Only 14 minutes? That's incredible. That is so nice. I'm pretty sure for me, when I lived at Chatham, it was like 20 Starting route to Epcot. Let's go. Proceed to the route. Welcome to Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. Let me give you a little tour. Our cycle begins with rain. Each area has a different way of water, explains how it works, and then how it can relate to you. So rain invites us to play and relax. You can touch the water and it'll play a little music. Next is stream, my personal favorite, where you can wave to the water and it'll wave back to you. Next is wetland that emphasizes how deep water can go and tips to keep water clean. Next is spring, but the water wasn't feeling too playful. At least that's what the sign said and I thought it was so cute. Here's a little look at the trash cans and there are also Moana inspired characters and symbols carved into the rocks. It was fun to try and spot them all. Next we have land. Land shapes water's movement and water shapes the land. So although there is a dry path, you can walk under a waterfall and move the water. I did it and I didn't get wet. Next is Lake, where you will find the beautiful Tafiti. This area is absolutely gorgeous. There is Baby Moana. This was my favorite carving. Now last is the interactive water feature where when you put your hands up, you control the water too. I was laughing because I'm so short, so the water only went so high compared to everyone else. But I tried my best. It is a hot one today, but I want to talk to you guys all about Journey of Water inspired by Moana. It was so cool. We had so much fun. The first thing I will say is that it's beautiful. It was like absolutely stunning. Like every little corner, everywhere you look was just so scenic and beautiful. There was so much attention to detail put into this area that I'm sure I didn't even see all of it. So it's the kind of thing that I feel like you could go back multiple times and like see new things that you didn't see before. 
Okay. Um, what I will say is that it's very refreshing. It's pretty much just like a path that you follow and then everywhere you go just has like a little section where you can do something. Some of it is interactive. My favorite one was at the very end where you put your hands up and the water will like like come up and I thought it was hilarious because like I'm on the shorter side and I was putting my hands up as much as I could and the water was like barely rising I thought that was really funny but then at one point there was like a bunch of people and we all put our hands up and then it like did this huge thing I mean definitely I think it's cool to check out if you happen to be at Epcot especially if you want to splash a little water in your face I feel like that is just like a very refreshing area to go to so yeah I'm so glad I got to see that so then after that me and Michaela went over to creations just to look around I saw some of the Halloween merchandise for the first time this year I hadn't seen anything yet it's cute um, but I did get a few things so I figured I'd do a little haul I always am buying things um, especially when I go to Epcot it's so dangerous but the first thing I got was this little Mickey necklace I thought it was adorable I think I had seen this before like earlier in the summer and I was like this is the perfect summer necklace I'm kind of in my silver jewelry era not today because I'm wearing more gold but I just I don't know recently I've been loving silver it actually all started because I went to the Grand Cayman Islands with my dad we did a little family trip and they had this ring there that was so cool and it only came in silver and they also had this butterfly necklace that I loved and it only came in silver so like ever since then I've just been wearing more and more silver so I had to get a silver Mickey necklace and this comes with matching earrings too which I think is cute but I honestly don't ever wear earrings that's like the one jewelry thing I just don't wear so I wanted to get a little silver Mickey necklace and I got these two necklaces for a specific reason because I needed silver and like colorful ish jewelry for something I'm doing this weekend. So I have a little surprise coming this weekend that I'm going to be announcing on my Instagram and TikTok at emilynoss8. There may or may not be a YouTube video announcing it as long as I can edit it in time, but for sure I'll be posting about it on my Instagram first. But I got those two things for the surprise and I would love for you to guess what you think the surprise is based on these two things. Think about the coloring, think about the silver, I don't know. I, I feel like it could be super obvious or you could be like, Emily, what the heck? You're giving us nothing. How are we supposed to guess? I'll leave it up to you. So that pretty much wraps up this video because now I have to spend the rest of the week getting ready for this thing, which I'm very excited for. I think you guys might be excited too. I don't know. We'll see. But that does wrap up my little DCP day in the life. A huge thank you again to Disney for inviting me to tour Flamingo Crossings Village. And a huge thank you to my friend Michaela for inviting me to our cast preview of Journey of Water. The Disney College program seriously changed my life. Um, is one of the best things I've ever done. So if you guys have the chance and want to apply, I could not recommend it more. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or anything because I'll be responding to you guys, trying to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!